What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are setting up a brand new skateboard. This is the old board that I've been skating for the past couple months and honestly it's treated me really really well. I would give this board a 10 out of 10. This is a Baker board and it was just really really nice. Kilua kind of got dirty from skating spots with a lot of wax. I would step on the wax and then step on the board and I could never really get the wax off. I even tried rubbing it off with grip gum and nothing could ever really get it clean. So I just kind of accepted that it was just going to be dirty. And yeah, so I think it's time to retire Kilo. He's also getting a little chipped up and stuff here. So time to move on to a new board. And this is going to be our new skate setup. Starting off, we have the erase deck and if you guys are wondering where I got the erase deck from I actually bought it from their website erased had a drop a few maybe it was like a month ago and I paid for it with my own money you know I bought it just like any normal person would who's a fan of Luis Mora and the erase crew so the erase deck super dope I got this one and a blue one both in 8.25 and this is Misa Amane from Death Note. This is from Rika Yushi Grip Tape. He actually sent this to me a long time ago and I've just been holding on to this. And I know a lot of you guys have ordered from Rika Yushi and you haven't got your order yet or it's taken a really long time. And honestly, I'm very, very sorry. Um, but keep reaching out to him if you guys are still waiting for your order because he will come through. He will send you a grip tape and sometimes he'll even send you an extra grip tape. But if you guys are looking for different options for custom grip art or colored grip art, Art, definitely check out LM Grip Art, which is another friend of mine. He will hand paint grip tape and a custom character. So reach out to him, see what kind of character that he can do for you. And then also Endless Theory, another friend of mine who doesn't make custom grip art, but he has some anime characters that you can stick on your board. I like to cut them up and uh, place them in between some normal black pieces like my Shizuku grip tape and my Ray grip tape. I thought those were really, really cool. So definitely check those out. And another thing you could do is just make your own, you know, go out to the store, get some paint and just paint on your board and just go at it and have fun creating your own design and make it unique to you. And then we have the Uto 5.6 Venture Trucks. These are the trucks that I've been skating for the past three years and they have treated me so well that I probably won't switch up out of them just because they just feel so nice and I'm just so used to them. So I'll probably skate these until they break. Um, 5.6 Venture Trucks, these are for the 8.25 boards and um, they just, they're awesome. On them I have the Bones Medium Bushings and they give me kind of like a nice soft cushiony medium loose feel and uh, these bushings have just been the best for me and definitely try these or the hard ones. The hard ones are a little better if you guys like your boards a little more stiff but I like it a little more loose so I went with the mediums. And then for the wheels I got the Spitfire, the OG Classics. These are the conical shape and um, that kind of is what gives it that indent kind of shaped look but I know Spitfire has a bunch of other shapes and a bunch of other cool new wheels. These are the ones that I've been skating for like the past three years so these are kind of like a little old but I've just shredded them down. They were once a 58 millimeter but I think they're probably like a 54 millimeter or something now just because I do so much power slides. So that's what the wheels are. And then inside them, I got the quantum bearings, metallics, and these have been through rain. These have been through water. These have been through so much. And honestly, it's crazy that they're still going. I could clean them up and actually they'd probably be like back to brand new, but I'm still surprised that they're still going even without nothing. So definitely check out the quantum bearings, metallics. I even think they have a cheaper bearing now. So check that out. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I got going on for my truck and wheel setup. I haven't really switched out this too much just because I like to keep it the same and consistent. And yeah, anything else here is just, just some tools we have to put the board together. And um, yeah, so let's do it. First thing, let's just rip this. The plastic, always nice. I was thinking about taking these stickers off, but Honestly, I'm kind of lazy and I'm just going to lay the grip on top of it because why? <laughs> why? All right. Yes. Let me actually move some things here. All right. We are in business now. Let's see here. It's crooked. It's always gonna be crooked. It'll never be perfect. 
Nah, they don't stick to each other. Oh, I ripped it. No, I'm so sad. How unfortunate. Let's try it like this. I should have did this first, honestly. I should just rip it all the way. Yeah, I think that's good. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna make it so that you can't see the rip. terrible it is ripped I did rip it but you can barely tell it's ripped actually and I kind of like the uh, little rip in it <laughs> so all good all good no worries just sometimes it'd be a little hard to stick on here um, trying to get it all perfect and all but this part kind of got a little ugly huh So far, so good. All right, moving on. Now, we shred. I was using my truck, but I decided to use this because I wanted it to come out nicer. I like to sand down the edges as much as I can. That kind of gives it a really, really nice edge to cut on so that when you're slicing it, it's really easy to just pull and slice. So just make sure you take your time with it and just sand it down really well. And yeah, that'll make things a little easier for you. All right, now it's time for the cutting. And uh, always just get yourself a fresh blade or something just because that would just make things a lot easier for your life. And then in the last video I guess showed you, I like to just make little slits in the grip tape just so that I have start and end points. So, just gonna make a few. And then pull pull the grip tape up a little bit. That will kind of uh, just make things a little easier. Make little slits. Some people will also say don't pull towards you, but I think for cutting grip tape, it makes it a lot easier to just hold an angle and just pull towards you. Um, but just be careful. All right, guys, just be careful. Ta-da! Wow, how sick. Looks nice. Love it. Now we have a pretty decent grip job. Um, it's not the best. I could have definitely done a little better, but you know, looks nice. You know, all it needs to be is just cut, then you just sand it down a little bit. All right, now all that's left is to put my bolts in uh, and my trucks, put my trucks and my bolts in. I like to put my gold bolt just right here on like this left side, on like this side, cause like that's how I kick flip. I don't know, it just helps me a little bit. I always aim for that gold bolt or something. I like look at it and I'm like, all right, that's the gold bolt. 
that's the bolt that I'm gonna look at. And then just make sure that you guys always put your trucks on right. Bolts facing inward, bolts facing inward. Um, it's easy to just mess that up. Even pro skaters will mess that up. I will sometimes mess that up. So just make sure you put your trucks on right. <laughs> I feel like having nice tools really makes this a lot easier. So get yourself some nice tools like an actual screwdriver and a nice T-tool that will actually make life easier for you. One thing I will say about Ventures though, the trucks are kind of bulky and they get in the way when you're tightening the bolts down, but it's really not that bad. Like, like look, you see? You see how it's like angled? Like, Should be good. It's good enough. All right, guys, here we are. The brand new setup. I think it looks super sick, especially for September, October. The next couple months, orange is gonna be super fire. And Misa Amane, Death Note. I just, I love that anime. So I think the erase graphic is also perfect for Misa Amane just cause she uses the Death Note. She erases people, you know what I mean? But graphic looks dope. Feels pretty nice, but can we do a kickflip first try? First try kickflip? Okay, okay. Pretty nice. I say let's go test this out at the skate park for a little bit and then we'll call it. All right, guys, we are here at my local park, at one of my local parks, and uh, we're gonna test out the new board, see how it skates. So let's do it. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. All right guys, the board feels so good so far, but I'm gonna wait to break it in before I give you guys my opinion. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys had fun watching me set up the new board, skate a little bit and just vibe out with me for a little bit. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time, peace out.